It's hot, but I tell you what's worse than the heat, the humidity. It, both, and both of them are high today. It's feeling more like July or early August, not early September. And in fact, we're, we're as warm right now as some of our hottest temperatures in the month of August. So just a little perspective, it's pretty warm out there still. Let's take a look at what's going on outside weather-wise up at Stonecrest Golf Course weather cam. Beautiful blue skies. Uh, just if you're hitting the fairway today, better be drinking plenty of water as it is very hot and humid across the mountains. Let's go to Pinpoint Doppler. We're tracking a few showers off to our north from Moorhead back over towards Ashland and Huntington. That is pushing off to the south and the east. So over towards Louisa, Inez, back up into uh, portions of Lawrence County, Martin County, uh, the northern end of Johnson County, over towards Paintsville. Be on the lookout. Could have a few showers and storms a little later this evening. Temperatures right now, upper 80s in the Cumberland Valley, 88 London, Williamsburg, 86 here in Hazard, 87 Paintsville, 89 into Inez. It is a toasty afternoon out there. Factor in the humidity, feeling even warmer, 95 feels like temperature right now, Monticello, 89 into Jackson. That heat index definitely on the high side today. And it's going to be pretty similar tomorrow. We're going to see uh, the Mostly clear skies through the overnight, a little patchy fog to start the day, a few pop-up showers and storms during tomorrow afternoon. High pressure continues to control our weather for the time being. The heat continues to build off to the west, and more of it rolls into the mountains tomorrow. So we may be a degree or two warmer than where we're at right now as we go into the day on Thursday. Here's a look at future view, and you can see those showers dissipate once the sun sets tonight. Patchy fog to start off the morning tomorrow, and then tomorrow afternoon, a few isolated showers, and then we'll see more of those again on Friday. I think Future View may be overdoing the coverage a little bit both days, but just know with that heat and humidity, you can get those pop-up storms, and it's really hard to predict exactly where they'll pop up, but just know everyone has a chance of seeing them. It's just about a one in five chance on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now, a little better chance of rain on a Monday, Labor Day, especially in the afternoon, looks like a little bit of a weak system will roll in. That'll also bring us a little cooler weather, if you can call mid-80s cooler, for the middle of next week. Going to be a hot holiday weekend, though. It for sure. really is. Thank you, Shane. Straight ahead on First at Four.